Today I'm going to show you how to install the Lawn Boy Rear Bagger. Hello everyone, it's Lawn Boy RA237 and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Lawn Boy Rear Bagging Setup. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've uploaded a video. Basically I haven't uploaded a video all summer and that's just because I've been really busy with mowing lawns for my lawn service. Here are the pieces you will need to have when installing the rear bag. The bag hanger, two bag hanger holders, rear bagging chute itself, the rear bag. Now one thing to note here is that this is the newer style of rear bag. There is an older style of rear bag which uses the side bag chute instead of this rear bag chute. And the bag itself has an extended piece of bag material that connects to a normal side bag chute. I believe these hangers are the same though, so that will be nothing to worry about. Also, there is a style of rear bag chute where you have to feed your pull cord through an eyelet right here. And if yours has that, because the um, uh, this was on the F engines that had the single speed self-propelled before they made the three speed ones. Those are the ones that have that eyelet. But this is just the traditional one that you'll find almost everyone who has these. These are for like three speed mowers. Basically all the rear bags you'll find now are basically this one used or new. Let's get started with the installation. The first step is to remove the wing nut holding on whatever attachment you have. Next. Slide whatever attachment you have to the right. If it's one of the easy mulch plates, it actually says right here, slide to remove, and there's an arrow to the right. All you have to do is slide it and lift straight up through the shoulder bolts. For the next step, you're going to need the bag holder and the bag holder clamps. Now we're going to come to the handle where the two bolts hold it together. And then we are going to remove the one bolt I've already had mine started you simply just unscrew sometimes it can be a pain if your cables get in the way after removing the bolts you'll need to take one of the bag hanger clamps and if the camera will focus you notice how one side has a 90 degree like that and the other side, the bottom has like this C shape. We want the 90 degree side to go on the top of the handle, just like this. On these bag holder clamps, you will notice that there are four holes on the bottom. These two holes on the top do not do anything. These four holes on the bottom are to adjust the bag tension. You actually have to try all these. I recommend starting with the hole farthest away. This will be the loosest tension and slowly working your way up. You'll notice on mine that this second hole from this top hole is where the paint is worn off. And that is the hole that I need to achieve the proper tension. I'm on purposely going to install it in the wrong hole to show you how the bag tension can be too loose. Or coincidentally, if you install it in a hole that is too tight, you will not be able to get the bag handle onto the chute. So I always recommend starting with the loosest hole, which is furthest away from where this 90 degree position is straight up on the handle. It will be this furthest hole away. So I'm going to show you with the furthest hole away first. To first stall the first bag holder, you will need the bolt in the bag holder and again I'm going to be starting with the hole that's furthest away the 90 degree part goes up this clamp will go on the inside of the handle we will put our bolt through sometimes you have to wiggle your handle around to line it up then I'm going to put it in the furthest away hole just like that and set it there now if we look at our bag holder you will see that whenever it lies perfectly flat, 
these two arms swing straight up in the air like this. That is the orientation. If you have it like this, you'll notice these cannot lie flat. You want this down like this, and this will transfer straight up to the mower with these angling down. And if we look at our handle here, you'll see why these have to angle down because this perfectly fits the angle of the handle and this bag holder portion will be straight up and down. Next, after you have put the bag holder on, just run the bolt on slightly about one or two turns where you can see it's still very loose now. Next, take your bag holder and with the pieces lining up with the handle, slowly fit this underneath of this clamp just like that and continue tightening it down. It's easier if you actually get the clamp a little bit tighter before you put it on. That way it doesn't keep dropping whenever there's still just enough room. You just have to slimply slide it under just like that. Again, it will be angled down. Just tighten that down. You do not have to tighten it all the way because we still need final adjustment. But you can see the basic idea. This bag clamp is going over this rod and these pieces are angled down, making sure that the top, you can see how this is straight up and down like that. Now we will do the same thing on the other side. And once you get one side installed, it's much easier. To start, just unthread the bolt. Pull the bolt all the way out. Put the hanger over this, the, um, the bag rod. You will do these two steps at the same time now. Put the bolt through. And again, I'm going to be using the last hole on the hanger. Then just grab your nut. Thread it on almost all the way. Now I'm just going to get a close up of what that looks like. You can see how this bag clamp is over top of the bag holder. Just like that. The next step will just be to tighten down both sides. But before tightening down both sides, it's important to make sure that you push the bag holder is pushed all the way down. You can see if I tighten it like this, you can see there's that much material. You want the bend to be right against that bag clamp. Once you tighten this down, everything will all kind of straighten out as well. Just like that. Now I'll just grab this side. And keep in mind, you, you may have to end up redoing this step if your bag is either too tight or too loose. That's why I recommend starting on the loosest setting first so you'll at least get the idea of how it's supposed to work. Now we are going to install our chute. Now you'll notice on this chute that there is this metal rod and that is not shipping material at all. That is actually supposed to be there. And this rod, this chute first of all installs just like any other lawn boy attachment. There's the holes that are bigger. The other one is down inside the chute right down there. you also notice that this rod can slide up and down. That's important. Whenever we come over here to the deck, you'll notice that there's a hole. And these mowers, the hole is not for like the side bag rod that goes down into the deck. If you've always wondered, that is actually what this rod goes into that hole. I'll show you how to install this now. I'm going to mainly be focusing on that hole which is partially obstructed by my cable. What I like to do, the first thing I like to do, is just get the blockage part down into the deck. Take your pin next, 
put that all the way down in the hole. And then the next thing is just to line up the eyelets with the chute. You can see how I'm in there. See how my bag rod is down all the way in the hole. After that, just give the chute a bump. You can see now we're in place. And our hole is lined up. And this is why this is able to move. I'm going to set the camera up. And I'm going to take out the chute and you'll see that this piece will actually move. The metal will slide and that's why they do that to allow you to remove the chute. You're just going to remove the chute and you'll see how that will slide on there. Sometimes it doesn't really slide but it helps especially whenever you're putting it in because you can get this in the hole. Slide this in place, put the chute in the hole and just give it a bump. After a few times you'll get the hang of it. How this part's supposed to work, you can take it out the chute. You get it situated, put the rod in the hole, just tap the chute in place to line it up. And then all you have to do is just put your wing nut in place. And in case anyone's wondering, this is actually a homemade wing nut. Whenever I got this mower, it did not have the original wing nut. There was just this bolt that had a head, you had to use a wrench to change out attachments. In this, the threads are much bigger than the normal size because I have a spare normal size I would have put in here. But the threads are bigger and I didn't want to try to replace the little plastic threaded insert. So I cut a washer in half and I welded it to the top of this bolt. And now that's my new wing nut so I don't have to use tools whenever I'm out doing yards. I can easily change attachments. And it works quite well. That could be good to know in case your normal size strips out and you just have to use a bolt. Then you can weld that on. Maybe even JB Weld would work too. I don't know, but I just welded that on. This has worked great. Now let's get back to the bag install. Now on these rear bags here, you're going to notice that the end here has this opening handle. This is actually where you empty out the bag. There's no zipper at all. And you just have to fit this together, making sure both ends are parallel. You'll see there's this bump out surface here. And there's one on the opposite piece. And it will fit into this square channel here. And you put these pieces together and it lines up. There's nothing else holding this. And that's all you need to hold this together and the clamp does the rest. Now to put the bag in place, you make sure the two ends are together. And I always like to put this end in first and you simply slide it into the holder just like that. And it rests in here and it keeps the two together. You'll notice there's a little bit of side to side movement just like that. But again, if this is open like this, you close it. You line up the two pieces and you put it in place and that holds it together. All it is is just a normal friction fit. Now we're going to come down to the chute. Just grab the bag and it slides straight down onto the chute just like that. Again, I'll just show you a close up. It's very quite simple. Whenever I go to empty this, I pull the pull rope outside and lift straight up. Again, this is just another friction fit. It just lifts straight up like that. Very easy to take on and off. So if I would take the whole entire bag off, I just move the pull rope, lift up on this handle, grab this handle, just like that. We have the whole entire bag. And it's very important to make sure you hold this with your hand. Else if you let go, your grass will dump out into the sidewalk before you get into a bag. But then whenever you go to empty the bag, I grab this handle on here with my left hand and I let this end drop and you'll notice in the back of the bag there's this handle and it's placed in the perfect position to empty out all the grass. You can get these bags all the way full to their 2.6 bushel capacity and every last bit of grass will come out. You won't be shaking the bag or having to reach in with your hand to try to pull out the grass because it gets jammed. Not with these bags. 
Now I want to show you what I mean about the tension of the bag. Snap on the pull rope and down like that. Now you're going to notice the top of the bag has these ripples. That means the bag is not properly tensioned. You can see also it's quite loose. You can move it up and down quite a bit and it's very loose on the handle. It's just in general the bag is not taut at all. And that will, this bag, you could actually run this like this. You have no problems besides the bag just being a little bit looser. But Lawn Boy, they want the bag taut. And to make the bag taut, you have to adjust the holes on the handle position. You can see there's hole number three. That's where the paint is worn off. This junky camera is not focusing. But by sliding this up, it slides the whole bag hanger up. And it's almost like lifting this bag up another quarter to half of an inch. And that's what makes it taut. So now I'm going to do that. I'm just going to speed up the video real quick. It's the same exact process. You just have to remove the whole clamping unit. And you have to just move this up one hole. And this slides the whole entire hanger up. Again, making sure that it's clamped down firmly in place. Just like that, I've tightened the bag up. You don't even have to completely remove this whole assembly. You can see now I'm in the third hole. Again, I count this hole as number one, two, three, four. This would be the absolute tightest. I'm not sure which mower would require that. And again, the reason why there is different holes is because different mowers actually have a different handle length. For example, on my 10550 lawnmower I had this installed on the third hole was too tight the bag handle would not reach so I had to go to hole number four and that was the perfect get, fit and again some handles actually might be um, shorter so you'd have to go to the I um, mean this is the second hole you might have to go to the third hole if your handle is a lot shorter even just the height of positioning your handle makes a difference. If you have your handle on the lowest setting, that's going to make the handle down further, therefore making the bag looser so you have to tighten it. Or having it on the highest setting will make the bag looser so you will have to tighten it again. Now I'm going to put the bag on and show you the proper tension. So again, to grab the bag, you make sure both ends are lined up. It's not going to work if there's like this big gap like this. If you have it off like that, it's not going to work. You have to make sure it's together. Very simple. Just slide it into the slot. Put the bag under the pull cord and fit it into the chute. Now you can see that my bag does still have some wrinkles in it, but it's much tighter. In fact, this bag could probably actually use an extra tightening but it's always been like this since I got the mower this mower came with the rear bag so I'm just gonna leave it like that because sometimes if the bag is really tight you're just gonna put extra stress on the bag you'll stretch the bag and this bag is probably actually stress stretched out since I've got it because whenever I did get it it was much tighter but again I've washed out the bag so the bag stretched so in fact it probably could use the next setting but I'm going to just leave it at this setting until it gets a lot looser but you only want the bag to be able to move up and down slightly this is probably in the excess of how tight you would want it you could go one more but the end factor is if you can get the bag inside the chute if the bag is too tight then it will not be able to make it 
you'll end up being like a little bit too short and you won't be able to go in. You can see this bag, I can actually make it go on top. But I'm just going to leave it like that. Probably in the next month or so, I'll end up raising it up. Because you can see this bag, it can definitely go up a whole lot more. I'm going to leave it there because it's, it's not a pain in the butt to do this, but it's not the funnest thing in the world. And the best part about this whole process is this stays on. No matter what attachment you use, this is designed where you just leave this bag hold in place. Let's say I wanted a mulch. All I have to do is just take the bag out, take the chute off. This piece stays in place all the time. You never take this off as long as you're using the rear bag. Now, if you wanted to side bag, you do have to take this off because the side bag hanger will not fit on the... Um, the one that goes in the handle will not fit, and this deck is not accommodated for the one where it goes down in the hole and hangs off the side. That being said, if you do have an older lawn boy where it's meant for the side bag rod to go down in the hole in the deck and you wanted to rear bag, you could leave this on and just put on the side bag or any other attachment. That's the biggest beauty of the rear bagging setup. And also, got the rear bag. Again, it's not hanging off the side, so you can get up the things closer. I'm going to be making an in-depth video comparing both which is better and which one you should get. Because most of these bags, you can actually get the brand new kits for off the Lawn Boy website or eBay, I believe. For a brand new rear bagging kit, it's about $250 which is very very steep I recommend checking Craigslist for used ones oftentimes you can get the whole entire setup for fifty dollars I've seen some where you can get fifty dollars for two bags and some guy was selling a brand new rear bagging setup for thirty five dollars unfortunately I was not quick enough to snatch up that deal it sold within like two hours because that's a very good price and I do have a whole entire video about installing the side bag it's gonna be right up there the side bag is definitely a little bit easier to install but I think the benefits of the benefits of the rear bag there's definitely some more benefits of it and some less but I'm gonna go into the video I'll be making an in-depth video all about it again thanks for watching everyone how to install the lawn boy rear bagging setup So I'm going to put this on my handle, again with the 90 degree up, and I have the furthest hole here.